My name is Darius Aria. I'm an archaeologist, and I dig Rome. No, literally, I dig Rome. And I have the opportunity to live history on a daily basis. And I want you to be a part of that, too. So come on, take a journey with me. Let's explore Rome. shops in Rome, and it's one of my personal favorites. And just around the corner from here, you have the Pantheon. Whatever angle you approach the Pantheon from, it's always larger than life. This is the dome of the Pantheon, this massive concrete dome, which rests upon a gigantic cylinder. It in turn is joined to a transitional block, which in turn feeds into a massive Ports, the Pronaus, which has monumental columns. In and of itself is a wonder of architecture and engineering. And of course, it masks or hides the cylinder behind it. Every time I step inside the Pantheon, I'm overwhelmed by the architecture and the beauty. Your eyes are drawn instantly up from the moment you enter the Pantheon. Your eyes go toward the light coming in through the oculus. Everything about the Pantheon, its architecture, its spaces, the rhythms crescendo and lead your eyes up to the coffered ceiling, up to that opening, light streaming through the oculus. I really like getting here early. Get to avoid the crowds, and that allows me to enjoy this majestic space all by myself. Coming outside, you need a moment to contemplate what you've seen moment to take in all those details from a fresh perspective. The Piazza della Rotonda is an amazing space and it really gives you a sense of what the piazza was like in antiquity. You would have had a big open space surrounded by colonnades, people milling about on a daily basis, and in the center there would have been an altar for sacrifice. But here today we have this magnificent fountain. And there were fountains present in the original piazza. It was a place of purification. It was a place of enjoyment. So come early and enjoy the lights and the sounds and the openness. Another great place within the neighborhood of the Pantheon is San Eustachio. This has the local community and great local coffee that's famous around the world. This is part of my experience at the Pantheon, and this is Living History.